Hey everyone, I'm Abdulhamid here and welcome back to another awesome tutorial. Before starting off, please thumb up this video, share and subscribe to the channel. So today we are going to learn this. First create a new ellipse shape layer of whatever color you like. Now create blue color solid layer. Create rectangular mask over solid like this. Now drop wave warp effect on solid. Play with width and height values. Change wave speed to 2. Now select solid and press P for position. Push it down like this. Now make a keyframe. Go 30 frames ahead and push the solid back up like this. Easy ease both the keyframes. Create keyframe for height right before the motion stops. Now go to last keyframe of position and change height value to 0. Easy ease last keyframe of height. Now drop turbulence displacement on the solid. Load the amount and size. Alt click evolution stopwatch. Type in time star 200. Do the same to the amount value as we did to the height value. Now duplicate the blue solid, push the top solid a bit ahead on timeline, change the lower solid color to something brighter. Play with wave phase and turbulence offset values. Now pre-compose both the solids together. Duplicate circle layer, put it above liquid and change liquid track mat to alpha. Hide the lower circle. Now let's create the liquid line. Deselect everything on timeline. Create straight line like this with pen tool. Name this layer. Change stroke color to blue. Now go to contents and add trim parts. Now in trim parts change the end value to 0 and create a keyframe. Go 20 frames ahead and change its value to something that it surpasses the circle. Easy is the first keyframe. Now duplicate the circle layer again. Create a mask like this while the circle layer being selected. Push the circle layer above liquid line, change liquid track mat to alpha. Now go to trim path. When circle gets filled up, create a keyframe for start value. Go 10 frames ahead and change start value. The point where the line stops, stop right there and double click on the comp. Now select the top layer. Create a keyframe for turbulence amount. About 3 or 5 frames ahead increase the amount value. Go a bit more ahead and drop it to zero like this. Now go to the first keyframe and create a separate keyframe for the offset value. 
Just like that then go to the last keyframe and move the offset position to the right. So now we have this simple ripple effect. So that is all for today hope you guys liked the video and learned some new things hit the thumb up subscribe to the channel signing out peace